Hey, it's me, Pip, and I'm outside braving the elements to talk more about winter weather and dispatching in the winter weather. So hopefully I'll stay warm, so stick around. Here I am outside of Salt Lake International Airport and we finally got some snow here and this will give me a great opportunity to talk to you about winter operations and de-icing. Snow and ice during winter is unavoidable at many airports in the United States. As a flight dispatcher, you are at the center of the snowflakes, helping pilots have the tools to make sure that they can safely de-ice and get passengers to where they are going as soon as possible. To make sure that the plane is able to generate enough lift, we've got to de-ice the planes because any sort of contamination on the wings can cause serious issues and prevent the plane from safely taking off from the ground. So there are a couple different fluids that they're putting on that we can talk about more in detail. Type 1 and Type 4 fluids are typically the fluids you'll deal with in a jet engine aircraft. Type 1 is used to remove ice and snow from the critical surfaces that include the wing, rudder, and ailerons. You can imagine Type 4 fluid as a shield that covers up those critical surfaces, preventing snow and ice buildup. If you look behind me, that second tail for Southwest Airlines, it just showed up into the de-icing line. So we're gonna take, in time, it is, it is 11.35 local time right now and the Southwest Airlines flight just started, that second tail. So we're gonna keep an eye on that one to give you a better idea how long it can take to de-ice. As a dispatcher, one of your key duties is to know where your aircraft is at all times. That becomes critically important when you are de-icing. That is because the Type 1 and Type 4 fluids, as you can see from these charts, don't last forever. They have what's called a holdover time. By keeping in touch with your captains on when the de-icing process begins and ends, you can ensure that you don't exceed holdover times and don't have to go back in line to get de-iced again. Giving you an update of where we stand, we're looking at 11, 11.47. And it looks like that second one's out, out the gate. So pretty good. Only uh, about 12 minutes here and they're uh, about ready for takeoff. Keep in mind though that de-icing times can vary wildly depending on demand, size of the airport, and current weather. Looking on the Delta side of things here in Salt Lake City, check out that line for de-icing. I know a good dispatcher is making sure there's extra fuel on board. So now that the snow is beginning to lighten up here in Salt Lake City, I will bid you adieu, but the good news is you've got a better idea of what it takes to be a dispatcher in winter conditions and how you can be better prepared and help your flights safely navigate the challenges that winter weather has. So without further ado, I'll sign off from the winter weather of Salt Lake until next time. Thank you.